Hi, my name is Eniera Matthews, and I'm the Research Services Librarian for the Douglas and Henry Regional Academic Centers. Today is May 21st, and it is World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development. And this holiday was is created by the, by the United Nations, and Mercy University Libraries is proud to celebrate this day on behalf of our students, faculty, and staff. And today I am here with the, Felix Jalen, who is the Assistant Vice President for Global Engagement, and he's here to answer some questions and talk about cultural diversity. Thank you for joining me today. Absolutely, I'm happy to be here. My first question is, what is cultural diversity and why is it so important? Um, okay, so when I think about cultural diversity, I'm thinking about the variation between cultures in a given population, um, and that's really important because it really relates to multiple different ways of seeing the world. So a culturally diverse population is gonna be better equipped to deal with problems, changes, changes in global circumstance, um, because it's basically a toolkit um, that allow us different perspectives um, to solve a problem. So we're able to see the world in, in multiple viewpoints and have sort of more flexibility. Personally, on a personal level, being intentional about diversity in our experiences and our interactions is going to raise our awareness and understanding of other cultures and other ways of being. Um, and that's increasingly necessary to function successfully and to lead in, in a world that is diversifying. So by embracing diversity and awareness, we're establishing a viewpoint that is going to lead us to avoid what we call value-based judgments, um, which is one of the primary things that erodes the cohesion and community within an organization or within society at large. So it's important for all of us, both at a community level and, and personally as individuals. Uh, what are some ways that students, faculty, and staff can celebrate cultural diversity here at Mercy University? As a Mercy has um, a lot of different ways to engage in culturally diverse experiences. So there's multiple student organizations that can serve as an easy entry point to sort of get into a different group of people um, or people with a different perspective. Um, among those are the International Barriers Association, Mercer Masala, the African Student Association, Caribbean Student Association, Common Ground, um, and there's many, many more. Um, I'd also want to sort of give a shout out to faith-based clubs, which can be a good inroad in understanding different religious traditions and different ways that people are conceptualizing their world and values. Um, so Bears Engaged Across Religion is a great example of that, and the Mercer Interfaith Organization, um, as well as the Muslim Student Association, just again, just to name a few. Um, but kind of, kind of stepping outside of those clubs, I mean, uh, we also are very intentional about embracing diversity as a university. So um, I would look out for, we had, do have a cultural calendar that can just raise awareness of different holidays and cultural traditions and important cultural days of significance around the world in real time. And you can subscribe to that, it'll pop up in your email account. Um, and there's a little explanation. So if, you, if something pops up and you don't know what it is, um, it's a great way to, to learn about that on the day that it's happening. Um, and then finally, I would just keep an open mind as you make relationships across campus. Mercer is blessed with a lot of cultural diversity across students, faculty, and staff. So um, be open to forming those relationships um, w when you're on campus. Um, and you don't need to look really very far to, to find a, a personal source or someone um, that's coming from a different culture, perspective, or nationality. Um, so because we all come from different backgrounds and we have different um, cultural experiences, what are some ways that we can find um, commonality with each other? True, that's a, that's a great question because that, that attitude I think really drives um, a lot of the learning and value that you can take out of this. Um, so first you have to keep an open mind. Um, I like to remind myself that we're all bound by the human condition, regardless of the differences that you see when you're interacting with people um, in, in the world. So always try to start from a position of understanding one another. And remember, just because someone's beliefs or values are different doesn't mean they're wrong. And I think, um, especially today, we get overtaken with dichotomous thinking or like this us versus them mentality. Um, and it's encouraged in a lot of ways um, by the media and society, but that really prevents true understanding because again, you're making a value judgment about a person's worldview and way of life. Um, just because it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. Um, so really starting from that open mindset um, and a, a place of understanding, I, I think is the best advice that I could give. 
What are some upcoming events or did your apartment, does your department have any upcoming events that celebrate cultural diversity? Uh, over the summer, um, we, we don't run programming, particularly out of my office. Um, we're generally set around the academic year, um, but we do do a lot of international awareness and different cultural events throughout the year. So I would keep an eye out on your email from, from Student Affairs, from the Office of Global Engagement, from the Office of Diversity and Inclusion um, for those opportunities as they come up. And they, uh, they do happen across all campuses. So no matter where you are, um, you'll be able to find a way to engage. So the Mercy University Libraries has access to Canopy, which is a video streaming platform similar to Netflix. And they have a um, diversity, equity, and inclusion collection that I recommend that everyone check out to learn more about cultural diversity. What are some other resources that you recommend um, for learning about cultural diversity? So I, I'm going to cheat a little bit, but Netflix, I think, actually is an increasing source of great cultural content. Um, just in their business model, they've done a really good job of representing people from different backgrounds and cultures. So, I mean, multiple countries and film traditions throughout Europe are there, um, South Asia, North Asia, Africa, um, South America, uh, Scandinavia, wherever you want to go, there's sort of... Um, interesting and compelling sort of um, lighter avenues to begin to understand how people are perceiving things. And the great thing with Netflix is, I mean, they're all dubbed into English pretty well right now. So it's not like you're watching a foreign film and not understanding the plot or something like that. Um, on the academic side, TED and TEDx are a great resource where you can engage academically with people from, from different cultural traditions as well. And that, that's, of course, free. Thanks. Well, that was my last question. Um, thank you so much for joining me today in this discussion. Absolutely. It's been my pleasure. And if you guys have any other questions or need to contact us, you can go to our website at libraries.mercy.edu or you can email us at library underscore reference at mercy.edu. Thanks. Bye.